Okay, we're going to get started. So find a seat if you can, and if not, make a new friend and sit with somebody you don't know at all. So uh, welcome to the two-way street. Um, we, are a, we are a hybrid again this week. We have a camera mounted in the box up there, but not to worry, because if you're not supposed to be here, it only sees the stage. So, except for maybe some of these people right in the front. You might be part of the show. Um, my name is John. I'll be your host tonight. Uh, we're a listening room, so when the performers are performing, or I'm talking, uh, we are listening, as opposed to the bar scene where nobody cares. Uh, we do follow the CDC guidelines, and I think everybody knows about that. All volunteer staff, tonight, behind the counter. Luca, raise your hand. Luke is uh, there. And Jennifer in the pretty dress. Uh, Tim's working camera and watching my door and whatever else. And we got Joel, our sound guy. And my name is? <laughs> There's a long standing joke about that I'm Bob. We've been in operation for 51 years. And tonight we've got uh, Macintosh and McGovern in the coffee house. They've been saying that they haven't been here in a while, so they're uh, kind of enjoying being back with us. Um, there's a flyer on the table that can give you some more in-depth uh, bio, and with all of that, no, I have to make a quick exit here. Welcome Chris and Elvin, also known as Macintosh and McGuire. Mc you know what I mean. Thank you, Pete. Here's a little Harry Woods for you. Some of you probably know this, and if you know anything that we're singing tonight, help us, okay? That's the rule. See that sun in the morning Peeking over the hill, I'll bet you're sure it always has, and sure it always will. That's how I feel about someone, how somebody feels about me. We're sure we love each other, that's the way we'll always be. Maybe we're ragged and funny, but we'll travel along, sharing a song side by side. Don't know what's coming tomorrow. Maybe it's trouble and sorrow, but we'll travel the road, sharing our load side by side. Through all kinds of weather, what if the sky should fall? Just as long as we're together, it doesn't matter at all. When they've all had the quarrels and pardon, we'll be the same as we started, just to travel along, singing a song side by side we're all hunting for something something we don't know what cause none of us are satisfied with things we know we've got we all forget about moonlight as soon as we've given our vow but we'd all be so happy if we'd start and sing right now, right now. Oh, we ain't 
got a barrel of money. Maybe we're ragged and funny, but we'll travel along singing a song side by side. Don't know what's coming tomorrow. Maybe it's trouble and sorrow, but we'll travel a road sharing our load side by side. Through all kinds of weather, what if the sky should fall? Just as long as we're together, it doesn't matter at all. When they've all had the quarrels and parted, we'll be the same as we started. Just traveling along, singing a song. Side by side. Let me hear you now. Come on. Side by side. Still don't hear it. Keep it up now. Side by side. Excellent. Side. Side by side. There you go. What a choir. And you guys sounded good out there too. Of course, they can't see you, but I don't even want to look at their right place. So, um, we, um, in such a long time since we've been here doing our, our thing, kind of feel like cicadas. <laughs> no? it hasn't been 17 years. Yeah, well, not quite that long, but we feel like that. <laughs> we, we, we've been in deep freeze. That's how it is we continue to look so good. <laughs> Nobody noticed that our publicity photo is 21 years old. No. We are, we're so excited about about tonight that we d we did something that um, uh, we usually don't do, but you know we wanted, and that is we we did a dress rehearsal. Yeah, let's just a dress rehearsal. What you put on a dress about three or four times, right? And I think <laughs> about about the vest and the tie oh, four or five times. So <laughs> we just make sure we get that right. So. Dress rehearsal. Um, oh, thank you. Oh, why don't I turn this up? Make sure I can. Uh, I thought it was no way of reading things. Okay. That, by the way, that the last song was by Harry Woods, and um, and Gus Kahn. Harry Woods sometimes wrote with other people. He did the music. And, uh, but he also wrote uh, songs, words, and music. So a very versatile guy, very versatile. We'll talk about him a little bit later. Um, oh, we learned this when we were both out of work. How true. Yes, we did. We were both out of work. Rain, Rain coming down and, and the roof won't hold her. I lost my job and I feel a little older. Car won't run and our love's grown colder. But maybe things will get a little better in the morning. Maybe things will get a little better. Clothes need washing and the fire won't start. Kids all crying and you're breaking my heart. Whole damn place is falling apart. But maybe things will get a little better in the morning. Maybe things will get a little better. Work your fingers to the bone. And what do you get? Bony fingers. Bony fingers. I've been broke as long as I remember. I get a little money, I gotta run and spend her. When I try to save it, pretty women come and take it, saying, Maybe things will get a little better in the morning. Maybe things will get a little better. Work your fingers to the bone, and what do you get? You know it, ready? Bony fingers. Bony fingers. Grass won't grow and the sun's too hot. Whole darn world is going to pot. Might as well like it cause you're all that I've got. And maybe things will get a little better in the morning. Maybe things will get a little better. 
work your fingers to the bone. And what do you get? Bony fingers. Bony fingers. Rain coming down and the roof won't hold her. I lost my job and I feel a little older. Car won't run and I lost grown colder. But maybe things will get a little better in the morning. Maybe things will get a little better. You know the right all of it. Ready? Work your fingers to the bone. And what do you get? Bony fingers. Bony fingers. Work your fingers to the bone. And what do you get? Yee-haw! Bony fingers, bony fingers. So you might, you might have detected somebody's jumping in there a little bit early. I hate to point this out. I hate to point this out, but it's always, it's always some guy. Not saying, you know, it's, it's, in the, it's in this half of the species, but um, it's always the guy that comes a little sooner. There's enough said about that. Moving on. Are you saying something about this? Um, no, I think you can. You can. So this next uh, song was uh, inspired by, written about... Um, a woman who lived uh, in the Middle Ages, in the 1300s, uh, she lived through the, the Black Plague and other difficult times. She uh, had an illness, and in that illness, she had a vision uh, in which she asked, uh, she asked, uh, you know, uh, God, why there is uh, suffering in the world? Is it necessary? And and the answer was, well, yeah, it, it is necessary, but Basically, everything will be fine. All, all she'll be well. Um, she was a, 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 a monk. She lived in a, 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 the, the church uh, of Norwich um, in England, and she had a monastic cell there where she would uh, receive visitors and, and give advice. And the advice was, all she'll be well. So she, she did some good. She was... Um, the first uh, documented woman to write um, a published book. So her writings are the first uh, yeah, female publishers. So um, this song is uh, about her, Julian of Norwich. Loud are the bells of Norwich and the people come and go Here by the Tower of Julian I tell them what I know Ring out bells of Norwich and let the winter come and go Shall be well again, I know. Love like the yellow daffodil is coming through the snow. Love like the yellow daffodil is Lord of all I know. Ring out bells of Norwich and let the winter come and go. All shall be well again, I know. Ring for the yellow daffodil that flowers in the snow. Ring for the yellow daffodil and tell them what I know. Ring out bells of Norwich and let 
the winter come and go, all shall be well again, I know. All shall be well, I'm telling you, let the winter come and go, all shall be well again, I know. Loud are the bells of Norwich, and the people come and go. Here by the Tower of Julian, I tell them what I know. Ring out, bells of Norwich, and let the winter come and go. Shall be well again, I know. All shall be well again, I know. Thank you. This one features Chris for what will be obvious reasons when she starts singing. Chocolate is great, chocolate is grand, melts in your mouth, melts in your hand. Chocolate is love, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm. chocolate mm -hmm. is hip, chocolate is now, beans from Brazil, milk from a cow. Chocolate, chocolate is love, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Please don't mention the chemical connection chocolate makes in my head. It's Swiss Miss I'm drinking, eating Hershey bars and thinking. If I can't be in love, I'll have a truffle instead. Cocoa is warm, fudgesicles chill. Whatever the form, it's always a thrill. Chocolate is love. <laughs> At night, I dream of hot fudge on ice cream. Snickers are fine, milk duds divine. Hagen dazs chocolate, chocolate chip is a trip. I couldn't survive out without my Godiva. I eat a chunky when I feel funky. A Toll House cookie is better than Nookie. N-E-S-T-L-E-S, Nestle's makes the very best chocolate. Please don't mention the chemical connection. Chocolate makes in my better than milkie. It's Swiss Miss I'm drinking, eating Hershey bars and thinking. If I can't be in love, I'll have a truffle instead. Cocoa is warm, fudge sickles chill. Whatever the form, it's always a thrill. Chocolate is love. We'll learn that from a, a trio called the Chenille Sisters. If they're still al if they're still alive, yeah, <laughs> you get a chance to see them. <laughs> we highly recommend them. Well, that, that was not original to them. They were. Um, it was Ray, uh, Mary Stribling. I looked it up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Three. There it is. This uh, this song was written in 1928, more or less. <coughs> Lucilla Brown and Henderson were were um, well-known songwriters at the time. 
Um, this one, though, um, they were joined by, by another songwriter, De Silva, Brown, Henderson, and uh, McIntosh. They, do they don't know it. Maybe I'll do it with a key. Oh, no, do it with a key. Um, yeah, this has a, like a, a constant refrain. That, that's your cue. It's like, oh, that means I could probably sing that too. Right. That's it. Probably. The, the bit that keeps coming around. Don't tell those people. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. The, the people online, they're, they're supposed to be singing even louder. Oh, okay. So we can hear them from wherever they are. That would be fun. Okay. Now I'm trying to remember, let's see, we're doing this in this key. Okay, so. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. And we're doing this. Let's see if we play the, the same, same song. Huh? Yeah. Are we going <laughs> to do the same song? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Okay, one, two. <laughs> cream in my coffee you're the salt in my stew you will always be my necessity i'd be lost without you there's the refrain here it is you're the starch in my collar you're the lace in my shoe you will always be my necessity i'd be lost without you most girls tell love tales, and each phrase dovetails. You've heard each known way. This way is my own way. You're the sail of my love boat. You're the captain and crew. Here and out. You will always be my necessity. I'd be lost without you. You're the grapes in my wine, dear. You're the hops in my brew. You will always be my necessity. I'd be lost without you. You give life savor. Bring out its flavor. So this is clear, dear. You're my Worcestershire, dear. You're the apps on my smartphone. You're my GPS, too. You will always be my necessity. I'd be lost without you. You're the cream in my coffee. You're the salt in my stew. You will always be my necessity. I'd be lost without you. You will always be my necessity. I'd be lost without you. Thank you. That song is the reason why I didn't invite my primary care physician. <laughs> Says, look, you know, we're trying to watch your weight. You really need, you really need to have the extra fat. And, and salt. Uh, and salt. salt. Get away from that woman. She's yeah. bad for you. <laughs> Cream in my coffee. Um, so what, what year is that? Like 1928? It was 1928. Yes, 1928. Well, How did that happen? Yeah, I don't know. And actually, it was prohibition, so they didn't have wine or beer either. Yeah. Well, well yeah, but they didn't sing they about they it. Did, yeah. <laughs> Not officially. Um, so, to um, this is a, a song written by uh, Lou and Peter P Peter Berryman. In fact, it's the first Lou and Peter Berryman song that we ever learned. Um, <coughs> That's how we got introduced to them. And uh, we have sometimes been accused of being a Lou and Peter Berryman cover band, which isn't exactly <laughs> true. For one thing, Chris is only has the curly hair and is short, but what other than that? The only thing I'm missing is the accordion. The accordion, yeah. So, so we, can't be, we can't be an official Lou and Peter Berryman cover band. This song... <coughs> 
to get to get in the mood for the song, you have to imagine that you're about eight years old, maybe ten. You know? And for some reason or another, your parents have invited you to go along to visit some friends of theirs, you know, an older couple, people in their 40s. <laughs> and, and as you approach the front door, one of your parents turns to you and says, now whatever happens, please, let's not have too much talking, you know. Behave yourself. Behave yourself. But you know, this is ludicrous. Here you are, you're, you're about to be thrust into the presence of four ancients, four adult human beings who no doubt, who no doubt have the acquired, I mean, look how many years they've been alive consecutive. The amount of wisdom that, that you're about to be thrust into the presence of. Why would you feel, why would, why would you want to say anything? Do you think it's, oh, I, we forgot, I'm sorry. There, there is another person in the song. We've invited a third person because it doesn't make sense unless the third person is here. We would like to introduce Harv. Harv is, is right there. Harv is just off camera here. Just off so camera, the, so over the there. The folks listening at home. Yeah, he's just Harv off camera. Is so over there. He's, he's over there, so he's important part in the song. Are you ready, Harv? Okay, yeah, I, I guess. Okay, yeah. yeah. Do you think it's gonna rain? Oh no, I doubt it. Probably not. No, I don't think it's gonna rain. Do you think so, Harv? Nope, he agrees. No rain. Do you think it's gonna rain? That's a very nice chair. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yes, it is. Yes, they're on sale at Target now. Isn't that right, Harv? Yes, he agrees. Nice chair. Do you think it's gonna rain? That's a very nice chair. Do you watch Lou Grant? Oh no, he's off now. So is Mash. We miss Lou Grant, but we miss Mash more. Don't we miss Mash, Harv? Yes, he agrees. Miss Mash. Do you think it's gonna rain? That's a very nice chair. Do you watch Lou Grant? Are the coals ready yet? Let's see. I think so. No, not yet. They have to turn a little white. Are they white yet, Harv? No, he agrees. Not yet. Do you think it's gonna rain? That's a very nice chair. Do you watch Lou Grant? Are the coals ready yet? Do you have your garden in? Oh, yes. Well, mostly it's so dry. We have to water every night. Don't we have to, Harv? Yes. He agrees, it's dry. Do you think it's gonna rain? That's a very nice chair. Do you watch Lou Grant? Are the coals ready yet? Do you have your garden in? Do you buy stay puff? Oh no, not usually. We use bounce. We get stay puff when there's no bounce. Don't we get bounce, Harv? Yes, he agrees, it's bounce. Do you think it's gonna rain? That's a very nice chair. Do you watch Lou Grant? Are the coals ready yet? Do you have your garden in? Do you buy stay puff? How's your grandson been? Just great. He's three now. Almost reads. He really is a gifted boy. Don't you think so, Harv? Yes, he agrees. He's smart. Do you think it's gonna rain? That's a very nice chair. Do you watch Lou Grant? Now the coal's ready yet. Do you have your garden in? Do you buy stay puff? How's your grandson been? Do you eat out much? Sometimes at Wendy's and last week at Ponderosa family night. You remember Harv? No, he's asleep. Hey Harv. Do you think it's gonna rain? That's a very nice chair. Do you watch Lou Grant? Tell the coals ready yet. Do you have your garden in? Do you buy stay puff? How's your grandson been? Do you eat out much? Do you go to church? 
Of course, we're Lutheran. Wake up, Harv. Oh, yes, our pastor's really good. Can't you get up, Harv? The coals are done. Wake up. Do you think it's gonna rain? That's a very nice chair. Do you watch Lou Grant? Are the coals ready yet? Do you have your garden in? Do you buy Stay Puff? How's your grandson been? Do you eat out much? Do you go to church? Do you think it's gonna rain? That's no, a I very don't nice think chair. so. Do yes, you watch it sure Lou Grant? Are the coals Monday ready yet? Night. Do They're you have your garden white. in? It's Do you buy Stay Puff? No, How's your grandson been? Bounce. Do He's you a eat out boy. much? Do you go to church? Do. Oh, wake it's up, rain. Harv. No, it's I don't think nice so. Chair. Yes, Do you watch it sure Lou is. On Monday night, Do you have your garden white. Do it's you buy very dry. No, we use bounce. Do He's a gifted boy. Sometimes we do. Oh, wake up, Harv. Wake up. Brilliant. You get older and you acquire all this wisdom. Um, so in, um, in, um, in previous years, I mean, m many years, um, we've, um, had depressions in this country, but they weren't always called depressions. There was the Great Depression, of course, in the 1930s, um, but before that, they weren't called depressions, they were called panics, uh, hence, uh, hence or a panic followed by a depression. Yeah. Or the panic and depression of 18 whatever. There were a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, so and somehow we all always come out of them. Ready? Yeah. So, one, two. Wait, am I the right key? Most, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Okay. Okay. Take two. Sometimes we do jazz. You know, we got this wonderful introduction one night. Beautiful, beautiful introduction we got one night. One of us was capable in the wrong place. <laughs> so much for making a good first impression. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, one. Okay. Yeah. One, two. What this country's coming to, I sure would like to know. If they don't do something, by and by, the rich will live and the poor will die. Doggone, I mean the panic is on. I can't get no work, can't draw no pay. Unemployment getting worse every day. Nothing to eat, no place to sleep, and all night long folks walk in the street. Doggone, I mean the panic is on. And all the landlords done raise the rent. Folks that ain't broke is badly bent. Where they get the dough from, goodness knows. But if they don't produce it in the street, they go. Doggone, I mean the panic is on. You know, I saw a man this morning walking down the street in his BVDs, no shoes on his feet. You ought to seen the women calling in their flat. I could hear him say, what kind of man is that? Doggone, I mean the panic is on. Some women are selling apples, apples. some selling pies, Apple pie. some selling gin and rum and whiskey too. Some selling socks to support their man. In fact, some are selling everything they can. Doggone, I mean the panic is on. 
Some people play the numbers. Some read your mind. They all got a racket of some kind. Some are trimming corns off of people's feet. They got to do something to make ends meet. Doggone, I mean the panic is on. I pawn my clothes and everything. Pawn my jewelry, my watch and my ring. I pawn my razor and my gun. So, so if, if luck don't change, there'll be some stealing done. Doggone, I mean the panic is on. Doggone, I mean the panic is on. Thank you. I guess we're okay. Um, <clears throat> this is a um, song is associated with a well-known performer, um, but somehow or another. It doesn't matter whether or not you knew this performer sang it. Everybody seems to know the song, which means you probably know it too. Help us out. My strap. I'm going to have to get a new strap. It keeps sliding off my shoulder. Hmm. Maybe you've gotten slipperier with age. Ah. <laughs> Nobody warned me about that. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wise men say Only fools rush in But I can't help falling in love with you Shall I stay Would it be a sin If I can't help Falling in love with Like a river flows surely to the sea, darling, so it goes. Some things are meant to be. Take my hand, take my hold. River flows surely to the sea, darling. So it goes. Some things are meant to be. Take my hand. Take, Take my hold. That there is a real folk show. Mm -hmm.
In case you didn't know. We have arrived at that point in the set that we traditionally call the last song. It wasn't going to happen eventually. Um, I want to say a couple of things here. I know John mentioned this before, but I'm going to mention it again because it's well worth mentioning more than one time. We want to thank uh, Jen, Joel, John, Tim, and Luca for volunteering tonight. The Two-Way Street Coffee House, yes, absolutely. The Two-Way Street Coffee House doesn't work except for volunteers, and uh, they're always looking for new volunteers, right? Yes. Right, and, and your name doesn't have to be given to the letter J. Although apparently they, they lean toward people whose name begins with J. If your name begins with J, you know, they want to see you soon. What? <laughs> um, or, or Bob. Or, well, Bob, yeah. Uh, oh, you know, why did I do that? Why I didn't don't need know. to do that? I didn't need to do that. Logistics of whatever. The song is more current than 1928. Hard to believe, isn't it? Yeah, I think we've been pretty much stuck in the 20s and 30s so far, except well, for maybe I one. I can't help falling in love. Can't There's help is newer current, than that. But this is, this is almost the century, but not quite. Not quite. It's 94. Oh, yeah. okay. Doesn't make it. Yeah. So we, uh, we lost Nancy Griffith this year, um, sadly. And uh, so this is one of my favorite songs of hers. If you know it, help us out. This heart was almost taken. This heart had a love of its own. This heart was reawakened when you came along. This heart was born feet running this heart saw your porch light on this heart hit the sidewalk wondering why you left it on this heart was stranded in the winter was stuck out in a blizzard in its summer clothes this heart knows when the love comes and when it goes heart hears the telephone ringing this heart's gonna let it go cause this heart knows the bells it's hearing aren't the telephone this heart has heard your laughter this heart has learned how to smile this heart will be your true believer if you stay a while This heart was stranded in the winter, was stuck out in a blizzard in its summer clothes. This heart knows when the love comes and when it goes. This heart, this heart, this heart, this heart, this heart, this heart. This heart was stranded in the winter, was stuck out in a blizzard in its summer clothes. This heart knows when the love comes and when it goes. This heart was born, uh, was almost taken. This heart has. The telephone ringing, gonna let it go. This heart, 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 this heart. Okay, we'll see you on the other side of the break. Thank you all so much for coming out.
going to turn my sound on? Maybe. There it is. There it is. Um, we'll take a short break. Uh, the washroom's out the door and to your left. There's only two spaces, so I usually wait until there's no line to start the second, uh, the second set. I uh, refill your coffee um, as a special bonus attraction tonight. Right there by the door, there's a basket, and there's a bunch of CDs in there that are the extras and spares and stuff that's been left behind. They are free to anybody who wants them. So if you have the uh, urge to uh, pick up a new CD for free, that'll be their spot. So like I say, we'll take a short break, fill your cups, uh, do your thing. I'll be back. <laughs>
Whoa, it's coming in hot now. Uh, we're about ready to get started again, so uh, find your seat, uh, get uh, your last refill, and uh, have a seat. Um, you know, like I said, we are, we're always in search of volunteers. Uh, I've been doing this now for about seven years, uh, pretty much every Friday night for seven years. Um, we've got, you know, our newest guy, Luke, over there working the counter tonight. Uh, but we're, uh, we're always happy to, when somebody says, hey, I could do that. Don't, don't raise your hand. Um, anyway, next Friday, we have a duo in here, and they go by the handle of Black Feather. Um, and they start, we're open at 7.30, uh, and uh, the uh, music starts at 8. Uh, tomorrow, Saturday, the 23rd, is the Country Western Jam, 2 to 4, in this room. Uh, you can bring your boots. You can bring a guitar. You can bring yourself. You can listen. You can sing. You can play anything you want. And... And uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, so anyway, we have people booked in this every Friday night for the rest of the year and into next year already. Turns out it's a kind of a spot, a popular spot to hit. You'll find either local people like Alvin and Chris, or you'll find people who are California, East Coast, West Coast, uh, Florida, we've had, I mean, we, we even did some virtuals before we were reopened again after the COVID. We did in England, and then we did in Australia. And I want to tell you, that's, that was kind of fun to, you know, except for the time change, when they were playing at like 2 or 3 in the morning, and you know, here we were here. So after that, after all of the above, Elvin, are you ready to do a second set? I think he said yes. The, the, the better half? Okay. No, 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 no. I'm, you know, I, I've been around the block a few times. I'll always say the better half because I don't get hit. All right, if you're ready, Elvin, come on aboard. Thank you, Herman. Oh, you know what? <laughs> tell, tell a joke. <laughs> I hear about the two guys named Herman. <laughs> For those of you who were in the first set, we forgot to properly introduce um, Harv, who, um, <clears throat> who was uh, featured in, in that one song. Harv actually, he hates us for us to talk about this because, but he's left now, so um, so so we can say this. Harv, Harv actually was um, the star of a movie, of a movie, and he didn't have to change his name for it at all. It was great. So, um, in case you, in case you didn't know, so you could, yeah, you saw the movie, yeah. Yeah, he was, you know, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. He's he's uh, he's older now, so he's not as tall as he used to be. So, <laughs> so. but there he is. Uh, uh, I guess, suppose I should look at, at the set list. Huh? Well, yeah, you're, you're assuming I can see that. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're working with different focal lengths here. So. We mentioned Harry Woods early on. This is another Harry Woods song. This time he wrote um, he wrote this one all by himself, uh, no help from anybody else, and it was his first um, big hit. I mean, he'd, he'd already written a couple of hits um, already he'd, as a well-known songwriter, but this is the one that put him on the map, okay? And you know it. I heard about it. I heard a robin this morning I'm feeling happy today Gonna pack my cares in a whistle And blow them all away 
What if I'd been unlucky? Really haven't a thing. There's a time I always feel happy, as happy as a king. When the red, red robin comes bop, bop, bobbing along, along. There'll be no more sobbing when he starts throbbing his own sweet song. Wake up, wake up, you sleepyhead. Get up, get up, get out of bed. Cheer up, cheer up, the sun is red. Live, love. Laugh and be happy. What if I've been blue? Now I'm walking through fields of flowers. Rain may glisten, but still I listen. Flowers and hours. I'm just a kid again, doing what I did again, singing a song. When the red, red robin comes bop, bop, bobbing along. Though rain may fall in the evening, and rain may fall in the night, when the robin sings in the morning, I know the sun is bright. I keep still when I hear him singing up in a tree, for that little angel of gladness brings happiness to me. When, when the red, red robin comes bop, bop, bobbing along, along, there'll be no more sobbing when he starts throbbing his own sweet song. Wake up, wake up, you sleepyhead. Get up, get up, get out of bed. Cheer up. Cheer up, the sun is red. Live, love, laugh and be happy. What if I've been blue? Now I'm walking through fields of flowers. Rain may glisten, but still I listen for hours and hours. I'm just a kid again, doing what I did again, singing a song. When the red, red robin comes bop, 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 and When along. the red, red robin comes bop, 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 When along. the red, red robin comes bop, 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 and along. Here he comes. Somebody moved by fret. I hate when that happens. So that song was from 1926. Yeah, well, we're, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Another um, <clears throat> Lou and Peter Berman song. I, I am not one of those people that does well uh, with long distance driving. And um, I get in the car, and um, that's all I can do is stay awake. I, you know, I mean, if, if somebody else is driving and I get to take a nap, Everything is good. After I get my little lap, I can go forever, and I can take over the wheel. And, but that first little bit, and if I'm driving alone, mm. and so I have to play mind games. You know, I have to do something to distract myself and see what's going on, and something so that I I I don't fall asleep. <coughs> So there's 65 miles to go To get to my sweet prairie flower The speed limit's now 65 It should take me exactly an hour Only 65 miles to go But when 10 miles further I drive I notice with dread there's a sign up ahead saying speed zone, slow down, 55. So there's 55 miles to go to get to my sweet prairie flower. 
The speed limit's now 55. It should take me exactly an hour. Only 55 miles to go. But when 10 miles further I drive, I notice with dread there's a sign up ahead saying speed zone, slow down, 45. So there's, so there's 45 miles to go. To get to my sweet prairie flower, the speed limit's now 45. It should take me exactly an hour, only 45 miles to go. But when 10 miles further I drive, I notice with dread there's a sign up ahead saying speed zone, slow down, 35. So there's, so there's 35 miles to go to get to my sweet prairie flower. The speed limit's now 35. It should take me exactly an hour. Only 35 miles to go. But when 10 miles further I drive, I notice with dread there's a sign up ahead Say speed zone, slow down, 25. Oh, I cannot go on this way. I complain to myself in the mirror. I keep driving further and further, but I don't seem to get any nearer. So I'll rent me a room at this motel, and you can come visit someday. The view's not so hot. And the bed is a cot, but it's only an hour away. Yes, it's only an hour away. So we learned this from the singing of um, our theme, who we associate with. And um, and uh, who um, wasn't able to perform his last years, but the last time we saw Art, we were performing here, and he came in through the door and sat down. Art theme came to see us, which is like a big deal for us. <laughs> Art theme, legendary for those people who know Chicago folk. Uh, folk singers. Too much gravity. So, remembering art. Jazz is good. Uh, I, I'm on the wrong. I'm on the wrong peg. Sorry. Okay. Art would have done it that way. Yeah, he would. We, we learned that part from him too. <laughs> he would. Al he would also have inserted a pun here someplace, but we we don't know all any of his puns. Yeah, I like that too. The master guards the sheepfold bin. He wants to know, is my sheep rung in? And he's calling, calling, calling softly, softly calling for the all to come gathering in. So me know it's okay. The master of the sheepfold, who guards the sheepfold bin, Went out on the wind and the rain path Where the long night's rain begins And he said to his hireling shepherd Is my sheep as they all brung in? And he said to his hireling shepherd Is my sheep as they all brung in? 
The master guards the sheepfold bin. He wants to know, is my sheep brought in? And he's calling, calling. Come softly, softly calling for the malt to come gathering in. The hireling shepherd answered, Ah, oh, there's some that's wan and thin, And some has got all weathered, And they won't come gathering in. They are lost and good for nothing, But the rest they is all brung in. They are lost and good for nothing, But the rest they is all brung in. The master guards the sheepfold bin. He wants to know, is my sheep brought in? And he's calling, calling, calling softly, softly calling for the malt to come gathering in. The master of the sheepfold, who guards the sheepfold bin, Went out on the wind and the rain path Where the long night's rain begins And he let down the bars to the sheepfold Calling soft, come in, come in And he let down the bars to the sheepfold Calling soft, come in, Help come in The master guards the sheepfold bin He wants to know, is my sheep brought in? And he's calling, calling, calling softly, softly calling for the malt to come gathering in. Then up from the gloom in the meadow, through the long nights, rain and wind, up from the wind and the rain path, where the long night's rain begins, come the long lost sheep of the sheepfold, and they all come gathering in. Come the long lost sheep of the sheepfold, and they all come gathering in. The master guards the sheepfold bin, he wants to know, is my sheep brought in? And, and he's, he's calling, 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 calling softly, softly, softly calling for, for the malt to come gathering in. in. And he's calling, calling, calling softly, softly calling for the malt to come gathering in. There it is. Art theme. Thank you, Art. Actually, I didn't write this song. This is an old, old hymn. And um, the woman who used to do the sound for many, many years um, found it in the hymnal and, and made a... And made that would a, be Jean Hallamo. Jean Hallamo and made a, made a photocopy of it. So, um, oh, my name. If you're one of those people who stays to the end of a movie, I mean, you go to the movie and stay to the end to read the credits, the last thing always at the end of the movie, I mean, unless it's a documentary, the last thing at the end of the movie is any resemblance to people you know, right, it is pure happenstance. You know, it wasn't... All the characters in this film were purely fictional. Any, yeah. Uh, yeah. Just so you know. Make that clear right away. Just so you know. I hope so. You might even do it in the same key, right? Possibly in tune. Possibly. When you're almost 100 years old, you become difficult to tune. <laughs> Not me. The the ban <laughs> the banjo ukulele. Is, uh, the banjo ukulele is, is. It's a little older than Elvin. A little. <laughs> Just because I was at Lincoln's <laughs> baptism. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Now a rich gal, she rides in an automobile. And a poor gal, she gonna do, are you gonna help us out? Eventually, yeah. Oh, oh did you want me to play? Well, I was, okay. I was, I was so enamored, arrangement. see, oh. of, of the, I forgot. Should we rewind this? Uh, yeah, let's the, rewind uh, it again. Because this is too slick for you, you know, we can. <laughs> They'll edit it out before it goes on YouTube, I think. Now a rich gal, she rides in an automobile. And a poor gal, she's gonna do quite the same. Yeah, but my gal, she drives an old GMC truck. You know, she's getting around just the same. I will be there in the morning if I live. I will be there in the morning if I don't get killed. Yes, and if I never no more see you again, I said, be sure to remember me. Now a rich gal, she drinks good pineapple juice, and a poor gal, she gonna do quite the same. Yeah, but my gal, she's drinking old shoe polish, you know, she's getting drunk just the same. I will be there in the morning if I live, if I live. I will be there in the morning if I don't get killed, don't get killed. Yes, and if I never no more see you again, I said be sure to remember me. Now a rich gal, she wears that fancy perfume. And a poor gal, she gonna do quite the same. Yeah, but my gal, she don't wear nothing at all. You can smell her coming just the same. I will be there in the morning if I leave. I will be there in the morning if I don't get killed. Yes, and if I never no more see you again, I said be sure to remember me. Now a rich gal, she'll fight you, and she'll bop you with a stick. And a poor gal, she's gonna do quite the same. Yeah, but my gal will take a rusty razor and run you all over town. You know, she'll catch up with you just the same. I will be there in the morning if I live, if I live. I will be there in the morning if I don't get killed, I don't get killed. Yes, yes and if, if I never no more see you again, I said be sure to remember me. Yes, and if, if I never no more see you again, I said be sure to remember me. Any resemblance, yeah. <laughs> no resemblance. Uh, oh, no, I keep this. We're back to the Silver Brown and Henderson because this means we're back in 1928. Be sure to go through a lot of wardrobes. Does anybody have perfect pitch? Somebody must. Oh, no, good. Thank, no, thank good. goodness. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I get the opening of this. Uh, I, I get to mess it up all by myself. Uh, yes, you do. Okay. Yes, you do. Yes. Just like that. Listen, big boy, now that I've got you made, goodness, but I'm afraid, something's going to happen to you. Listen, big boy, you've got me hooked and how I would die if I should lose you now. 
button up your overcoat when the wind is free. Take good care of yourself. You belong to me. Eat an apple every day. Get to bed by three. You know it now. Take good care of yourself. You belong to me. Be careful crossing streets. Ooh, don't eat meats. Ooh, cut out sweets. Ooh, you'll get a pain and ruin your tum tum. Keep away from bootleg hooch when you're on a spree. Take good care of yourself. You belong to me. Listen, girlfriend, you've knocked me off my feet. I think you're very sweet, making such a fuss about me. Listen, girlfriend, now that I'm fond of you, I'm afraid I'm gonna worry too. Button up your overcoat when the wind is free. Let me hear ya. Take good care of yourself. You belong to me. Wear your flannel underwear when you climb a tree. Take good care of yourself. You belong to me. Don't sit on hornets' tails. Ooh. Or on nails, ooh, ooh. or third rails, ooh, ooh. you'll get a pain and ruin your bum bum. Don't go out with college boys when you're on a spree. Take good care of yourself. You belong to me. I take good care of yourself. You belong to me. So uh, we're always on the lookout for songs with a, like that has an easy, repeatable refrain. People can pick up on it real fast. Um, and songs that... Um, that is easy, you know, easy. So that people have a place in it. The best songs we found out are the ones that are simple, simple. And the simpler, the better. In fact, this song only has a one word chorus. We think you can handle that, right? So. Just one word. Yeah, just one word. Yeah. By Corky Siegel. Ready? Little red spots. Little green spots. Little, little blue, blue spots, spots on the floor. I call the doctor, but the doctor say, Man, you ain't got no floor, you got linoleum. La 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 no no. La 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 no 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 no. La la no no la la no no linoleum. One word. It comes in a roll, and you tack it down. But the corners fly up from the floor. You stand on the corners till you have to go out. Then it's back into a row once more. La 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 no no. La 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 no 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 no. La la no no la la no no la no Leon. I buy contact lenses cause I wanna be a smart guy But they pop out of me eye I go to the spot where I think the lens drop And I hear a little crunch on the linoleum La 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 no no La 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 no 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 La la no no la la no no linoleum Me bossy come over 
He don't give me no raise. Me best girl, she walk out of the door. I ask them both why, they say, You got no class, man. All you got's that linoleum. La 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 no no. La 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 no 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 no. La la no no la la no no la no Uh, so, so I tried, tried to, to hide, hide it under a rug, rug but the rug she slipped around some. Me cousin fall down and he break his big nose. He sue me, my rug and my linoleum. La 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 no no la 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 no 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 la la no no la la no no linoleum. La 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 no no. La 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 no 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 la la no no la la no no la no Leon. Don't you ever judge a man by his linoleum. And you were worried. The first gold record ever issued to anybody was for this song. It sold 1,200,000 recordings. Yeah, which is first time a uh, recording had ever sold. Actually, no, there was another recording that had sold really? a million. But really? this one, 1,200. But the distinction was that this was the first one to get the gold record. RCA oh. gave them a gold record. The other one was too early and it missed out on the yeah, award. So there you go. So you might know it. Right? Nobody has perfect pitch, right? Nobody has perfect pitch, right? <laughs> one, two. Oh, pardon me, boys, is that the Chattanooga Choo Choo? Track 29, well, you can give me a shine. I can afford to board the Chattanooga Choo Choo. I've got my fare and just a trifle to spare. You leave the Pennsylvania station about a quarter to four. Read a magazine and then you're in Baltimore. A dinner in the diner, nothing could be finer than to have your ham and eggs in Carolina. When you hear the whistle blow and ain't to the bar, then you know the Tennessee is not very far. Shovel all the coal in, got to keep a rolling. Woo-woo Chattanooga, there you are. There's gonna be a certain party at the station in satin and lace. I used to call Funny Face. She's gonna cry until I tell her that I'll never roll. So Chattanooga choo-choo, won't you choo-choo me home? Yeah. Pardon, Pardon me, boys, is that the Chattanooga choo-choo? Track 29, well, you can give me a shine. I can afford to board the Chattanooga choo-choo. I've got my fare and just a trifle to spare. You leave the Pennsylvania station about a quarter to four. Read a magazine and then you're in Baltimore. A dinner in the diner, nothing could be finer than to have your ham and eggs in Carolina. When you hear the whistle blow and eight to the bar, then you know that Tennessee is not very far. Shovel all the coal in, got to keep a rolling. Woo woo, Chattanooga, there you are. There's gonna be 
A certain party at the station Waiting for me And oh how happy we'll be He's gonna sigh Until I tell him that I'll never roam So Jack Nuka Choo Choo Won't you choo choo me home Yeah Jack Nuka Choo Choo Won't you choo choo me home There you go. Thanks, Mike, for the train whistle. That was Mike, uh, or, uh, not his uh, his first instrument. He usually plays another thing called a zafoon. But we didn't have a partner for a zafoon. He brought along the train whistle, which is perfect. Thank you, Mike. Um, we learned this next song, or we, we became aware of this next song. Um, I think in 2011, as we were on vacation in Maine, waiting for the arrival of Hurricane Irene. <laughs> Hurricanes what's, don't. What's wrong with this picture? Yeah, hurricanes don't get up that far north very often, but there we were. Actually, it was the second year in a row where we were met with a hurricane on vacation in Maine. Um, so as we were waiting for Hurricane Irene, we were uh, listening to the Sunday morning folk show on WERU radio, and they, uh, just to try to comfort everybody, I guess, put together an hour-long program of songs about rain and storms and hurricane and other <laughs> natural disasters, um, and we felt so much better uh, after listening to that show, but... Um, this, this particular song uh, actually came around twice. We heard it, like, didn't they already play this one? It, it goes under a couple of different titles, so they probably didn't know the difference. So let's play that one. Um, so we heard it a couple of times that day. Um, and it is, it is the, the story of uh, the, the great storm um, or the great hurricane or the Galveston hurricane of 1900 which still stands as the uh, worst natural disaster in the United States is, is in terms of loss of life. Um, but, uh, and so this, since there was no social media then um, to, to talk about it, um, a song was written. So I'm going to have a sip before we do this. Oh, that's a good idea. I haven't had, a, on a, hurricane. We haven't had a sip yet. I'm, I'm trying to do my Paul McCartney, who goes through a whole concert without drinking anything. Paul McCartney performs for about three hours without a sip of water, even if it's 90 degrees outside. I don't know how he We've does it. We've been there. We've seen him. <laughs> so Paul got me beat here. <laughs> no Paul McCartney. You know, the year was 1900, many years ago. Death came howling from the ocean. When death calls, you gotta go. Wasn't that a mighty storm? Wasn't that a mighty storm in the morning now? Wasn't that a mighty storm that blew all the people all away? Galveston had no seawall to keep the water down and a high tide from the ocean swept the water over the town you know the trumpets gave them warning better leave this place but no one thought of leaving till death stared them in the face wasn't that a mighty storm wasn't that a mighty storm in the morning now wasn't that a mighty storm 
that blew all the people all away. Rain, it was a falling. Thunder began to roll. Lightning crashed like hellfire, and the wind began to blow. Wasn't that a mighty storm? Wasn't that a mighty storm in the morning now? Wasn't that a mighty storm that blew all the people all away? The trains, they were all loaded. People leaving town. But the trestles gave way to the water. And the trains, they went on down. The seas, they were a-rolling. Ships, they could not land. I heard a captain shouting, God save the drowning man. Wasn't that a mighty storm? 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 That blew all the people all away. Blew all the people all away. Death, your hands are clammy. You got them on my knee. You came and took my mother. Are you coming back for me? Wasn't that a mighty storm? 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 That blew all the people all away. You know the year. Was 1900 many years ago? Death came howling from the ocean. When death calls, you gotta go. Wasn't that a mighty storm? 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 That blew all the people all away. Blew all the people all away. Wasn't that a mighty storm? Wasn't that a mighty storm in the morning now? Wasn't that a mighty storm that blew all the people all away? Thank you. How did that happen again? The last song. Sheesh. Well, that's what we get for being having too much levity. <laughs> it comes up and you like that. What, um, oh, make sure I get this in again. Uh, we have to remember to thank Jen, Joel, John, Tim, and Luca. Again, and the volunteers. Two Way Street doesn't happen except for, for volunteers, so please uh, give them all your heartfelt thanks before you leave. Um, yeah, not really. We'll, we'll put it there. That's a good key, right? Uh, if it's E, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> We don't know when this is written. Uh, the, the man who wrote it, his last name was Cobb. I should remember his first name. <laughs> but the story, the story is much older than, than he is. So, so it was his reworking of an old, old um, fairy tale. Right. So this is an appropriate last song because it was sending you to bed, you know, with a, with a fairy tale. So hope you appreciate that. Do you remember in the fairy tale how the wicked witch's curse changed the handsome prince to a toad? Through the power of her potion, she handed him the notion he was lower than dirt in the road. But though she left him green and warded, her evil plan was thwarted when there chanced to happen by a young miss 
who, in spite of his complexion, offered her affection and broke the wicked curse with her kiss. And if you've never been frog-kissing, then you don't know what you've been missing. There's a world of opportunity under each and every log. If you've never been a charm breaker, if you've never been a handsome prince maker, just slow down, turn around, bend down, and kiss you a frog. Once upon a time ago, I was down and feeling low like a lowly frog in a pond. Life was just a joke and I was very nearly croaking. I'd been zapped by life's wicked wand. But in the midst of my depression, there came a true expression of love from a lady so sweet. She gave me warm, fuzzy feelings, feelings that were healing, and knocked me off my little web feet. And if you've never been frog-kissing, then you don't know what you've been missing. There's a world of opportunity under each and every log. If you've never been a charm breaker, if you've never been a handsome prince maker, just slow down, turn around, bend down, and kiss you a frog. There's a happy ever after land deep in the heart of man where a prince or princess abides. But all we get are glimpses of a handsome prince and princess Cause they're covered with a green warty hide And though they're full of life's potential They're lacking one essential To enable them to shine like a star And that's the handsome guy or missus Test mother them with kisses And love them while they're just like they are And that's the secret of frog kissing You can do it too if you just listen there's a world of opportunity under each and every log. That's the secret of charm breaking. That's the secret of handsome prince making. Just slow down, turn around, bend down, and kiss you a frog. What do you do? Just slow down, turn around, bend down, and kiss you a frog. Nitty ribbit. Thank you all very much. Thank you all for coming out tonight. Because these people don't want you to leave. Plus, there's a long-standing rule here in the coffee house that if you applaud one more time, they might do an encore. So, do you uh, guys We don't know anymore. Anymore? That was all the songs we know. Oh, man. All right. I, I look have to repeat one. Well, we, uh, that's okay, too. We, we, we. For those who came late, <laughs> they will, they'll think it's a first-timer. All right. With that, let's hear one more for these guys. Chris and Albert. These guys. Remember the other one we could do. Oh, what was that? Yeah, um, I don't see how it goes again. It's but such a long time. It was like, um, <laughs> it's, um, boy, it's been a long time. <laughs> Dashing, Dashing through, through the, the snow. snow. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> that would have been the first song if this was the Christmas show. Certainly is not going to be our encore, but for those of you who only know us from the Christmas show. Oh, we could plug that. Um, right, we'll, I forget the date of it. Um, we'll, we'll be doing the Christmas program here. It's either the Friday right before Christmas or the one before that. I forget which Watch one. Watch the calendar. Keep, keep an eye. If you're yeah. not signed up on the mailing list to get notices for a two-way street, um, is there a place to do that? Yeah. Right in the hall. And yeah. you'll know every week who's going to be playing here. Yeah. All those places. The two-way street is everywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
Right here on your favorite one-way street in Downers Grove. <laughs> we love irony. So let's, uh, um, uh, um, Fred Holstein uh, may be responsible for us getting together at all, if you will. And this is his arrangement, um, his arrangement of, a, of a song that uh, somehow it becomes the favorite of whoever we introduce it to. Um, it could become your favorite. Uh, and uh, so, um, uh, Fred loved to find songs that people could learn real quickly and join in. And, um, and he expected you to, and so do we. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> This is a song for all the good people, all the good people who touched up my life. This is a song for all the good people, people I'm thanking my stars for tonight. And this is a song for all my companions who knew what I needed was something they had. Food on the table and a heart that was able, able to keep me just this side of sad. And this is a song for all the good people, all the good people who touched up my life. This is the song for all the good people, people I'm thanking my stars for tonight. And this is the song for all the good travelers who passed through my life. As they moved along, the, the ramblers, ramblers, the thinkers, the just one more drinkers, they each took the time to sing me their song. And, and this is a song for all the good people, all the good people who touched up my life. This is the song. For all the good people, people I'm thanking my stars for tonight. And this is a song for all the good singers, the songs and the music, the jokes good and bad. We sang in the kitchen, held no competition. Each knowing the other was a good friend to have. And this is a song for all the good people, all the good people who touched up my life. This is a song for all the good people, people I'm thanking. My stars for tonight. Some helped in small ways, some helped in hallways, some always told me you're doing all right. And this is a song for all the good people, all the good people who touched up my life. This is a song for all the good people, people I'm thanking my stars for tonight. Thank you all very much again for coming out. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming tonight. Be well. Now you, now you can leave the stage. You have done your thing. So, net, like I said, next week is the Black Feather. Same time, same place.
one week later. Uh, and thanks everybody for coming and uh, hopefully we'll see you all soon. Don't, uh, don't forget to volunteer. We can always use another helping hand. All right, thank you and good night.